premium red. This is blended terracotta and it's quite a smooth body and it's quite nice and malleable I think. That's the, the word for it. Oh yeah, it feels nice. Nice and smooth. I'm just wedging this up. I'm just going to make a few simple shapes just to test it really, just to see what it feels like. Good. Okay, let's, let's give it a go. sort of stoneware. Looks very nice. Very good. Yeah, it feels nice, smooth. So now I'm now starting to make a little basic shape. Feel nice and smooth, just working on the inside first. I want to try and take it sort of a little bit thinner, maybe, than what I normally do. So, yes. right, let's bring that up now. good for me to get the chance to try all these clays that I wouldn't normally work with. Feels good. Yeah, you can make all sorts of things out of this. Thing, so. Feels more like quite a fine earthenware, so it's sort of it hasn't really got that that sandiness or that in it feels like a proper sort of almost like an industrial sort of throwing clay. I reckon you can make all sorts of stuff out of this. You know, you could you could literally whatever you wanted. Um, whereas with a lot of terracotta stuff, you sort of you generally just use it for sort of plant, planters and stuff, don't you really? But, or you could make some nice sort of kitchen wear out of this, I reckon. Sort of. I'm just going to make a sort of basic sort of cylinder, really. I'm not going to go too extravagant with this one, then maybe try some bowls or something. So you see, like that there, you could make that into a nice sort of. Um, drinking vessel can you with a nice glaze on I look really cool that and I haven't really done much with this yet so with the first one it's very nice um, yeah you could make some nice sorts of mugs and stuff and things out of this just wire it through and then
Yeah, it's lovely that. Really nice. <laughs>see that's quite thin really there's not you wouldn't have to much so you just have to turn a foot out of it really you wouldn't have to mess about with it yeah nice good so you could you can make some nice kitchenware and all sorts of this can you some of the premium red I've just flattened it out on the roller really I just want to see now what it's like to put a texture on and also to hand build with it because I think it's meant to be pretty good for this, for this. so just going to try it without any water or anything on to start with and just going to roll that on and just see how it comes out oh yeah that's good and I'm not really applying very much pressure on that so you could go quite a lot more, you could use some natural stuff on this as well, couldn't you? To really give it some texture. Let's do it one more time, let's go a little bit harder and just roll, oh. a little bit more. Yeah, look at that, that's lovely. A nice bark finish with that, that's very nice. Yeah, so it's very good for doing that. Though. Right, let's have a little go now rolling this on now, I don't want to damage that too much, so let's just keep it nice and simple, let's just have a little look, let's just wrap that round and just have a little look, see, 
Mmm, good. Okay. Just trim this down a little bit. So let's just roll this now. Oh, nice, nice, nice texture that. Right, I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. So I've got a, I'm only going to do this really basic, so let's just take it nice and straight. Right. I might leave this bit as it is for now and then I might keep it quite, uh, quite un uneven around the top. Maybe that'll be good to have a little look. Yeah, it's good. It's really, I mean, this is quite a big pipe, this as well, so. <laughs> on but it's not look, it's nice it's blending in together lovely that so you could really mess about with this I think it would really work well look, look, look. nice you can see how easy it blends together with no slip not putting any water on it's not that messy neither without any water on yeah, see Nice, let's see if I just, I know this goes against all logic, but I just want to see how this blends in. Oh, look at that. So you could model with this really well. Look. Oh yeah, I'd recommend this, I think, for modeling with, but you do some nice stuff. It's, uh, And I know for a fact there that I'm really pressing in with that. So you're not going to get any air pockets or anything. You just, that's blended lovely. And then, so all I'm going to do is just, again, just go over that. Just with the texture a little bit. And that, you'd never know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd recommend that. It'd look nice, that would. You could do a lot with this. I mean, this is just a real basic, isn't it? Just having a little look to see what you could do with it, but you could be sculpting heads and all sorts with this. So it'd be lovely. <laughs> feels great for making kitchenware and stuff like that, so I just want to see how I get on now. You're going to care. It's a bit like an earthenware, this, so it's... I'm just going to... This is a good way, really, because we can see how it stretches and stuff, and you can see there's no... It's not... It's pulling well. Go a bit bigger with this because I made that quite a big cylinder, so make yourself a big coffee mug. <laughs> yeah, look, that's quite good, that, look, see? It's not droop, it's not pulling or anything, it's still keeping its shape well, so yeah, nice. I'd give it a go, definitely. Yeah. 